Hi, welcome to lesson four, where we are going to talk about the good agricultural practices in Lusan production. And here we are going to discuss the six major factors we need to consider when establishing Lusan. The first factor is soil pH. Lusan grows well and yields optimally when the soil pH is above 6.0. Below that, the crop will not do well. Carry out a soil test to establish or ascertain the soil pH. The second factor is land preparation. Here, you need to ensure that your seedbed or land is fine and free from weeds. Ensure that perennial grasses such as coat grass and nutsed grass are cleared by using an unselective herbicide such as Roundup. The third factor is plant spacing. Drill the seeds at 15 centimeter rows. The drill should be three centimeters deep. Deeper than this, the seeds will not germinate well. You can also broadcast the seeds. Use a seed rate of, of five kilograms per acre. The fourth factor is fertilization. How should Lusan be fertilized? Use 50 kilograms of NPK at planting and 25 kilograms of CN as top dress. Also consider doing a soil test to get a customized fertilizer recommendation which will basically suit your farm. The fifth factor is weed management. How should weeds be managed in a Lusan field? Here you can either weed the Lusan crop manually or mow the crop together with the weeds when the crop is about 30 centimeters tall. The annual weeds will not regrow, but the Lusan crop will regrow vigorously since it's a perennial. The sixth factor is the right harvesting stage. When should the Lusan be harvested? So for this one, harvest the Lusan crop at 10% flowering and preserve as hay. Thank you for watching and join me in our next lesson where we are going to discuss the good agricultural practices in Rhodes grass production.